Well, it's just a week before spring hits by the calendar. But Old Man Winter is reluctant to leave. Today is National Weather Persons Day, a day meant to highlight important figures in the weather community. And it's also Black History Month, and today we're celebrating both by talking about June Bacon Bercy. June was the first female and first African-American meteorologist and later became the first female chief meteorologist. June was born and raised in Wichita, Kansas in 1928, where she received her first degree in mathematics. She then moved west and started her meteorology degree at UCLA in 1954. Her college counselor uh, told her on the first day uh, that this honors math student, my mom, should pursue uh, a major in home economics uh, and, for, and not pursue what was clearly a futile pursuit uh, to get a meteorology degree for what reason? She was the first African-American woman to graduate from the UCLA meteorology program. And after a brief time working at the National Weather Service, she went back to school again, this time at NYU. She studied, studied journalism. After she got her degree, she took her knowledge to the airwaves in 1970 when she started as a science reporter at our sister station, WGRZ in Buffalo, New York. Just two years after she started, she started forecasting the weather on air. And four months after that, she became the chief meteorologist. I didn't want to because at that time weathercasters, female weathercasters, were, were doing weather in a way that they would grab the public's attention by playing ukuleles and doing all little silly and absurd things. So I didn't want to do it. But they prevailed upon me and I agreed and I loved it afterwards and became a television weathercaster. After her time at WGRZ, June went on to work for the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. She also helped create scholarships for minorities in meteorology and helped to fund the Jackson State Meteorology Program in Mississippi. June died in January of 2020, but in 2021, the American Meteorological Society renamed their Meteorology Award in her honor, now known as the June Bacon Bercy Award for Meteorology. That is an incredible story that I never knew before now. It's one of my favorite stories, and I was like, this is a perfect time to talk about it. Yeah, and I gotta say, looking back at some of the original weather that graphics. That was the coolest part, yeah. <laughs> yeah. To see, like, it was basically like a whiteboard, yep. you know? She didn't hit the green screen, she was out there on the map yeah. showing what things looked like. You definitely had to think, have to have things planned out then. Oh, yeah. You're not just clicking a button on a computer, right? Oh, yeah, <laughs> very different.